Hey everyone, this is David from Toledo Antique and we were at an antique show and so people recommended we come to this little uh, shop called Buddha Bob's. So we're gonna go check it out and see what they got here. I think they have some antiques, collectibles, but um, also some other things, but a pretty interesting store. So we think you're gonna like it. It's called Buddha Bob's. It's here in Massachusetts and it looks like a pretty fun place. So let's go take a look. All right. So you can see they've got a lot of uh, lawn ornaments and some of it's like Asian motif. Let me put this mask on because it's a small store, so. But, let's see. So there's the sign. You can see it's got a really nice facade. That's a cool sign. It's one of the Cape Cod signs, you know. But, um, they do have a lot of jewelry here. You know, so I'm a little bit rough at this, so I'm sort of a bad one while I do it. And if anything is left after like a customer, like I notice it instantly, but... Pretty cool. Uh, I don't care. I'll remember what that is. No, 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 I don't know. And I was like, it's definitely... So here's some necklaces. This looks like jade-type stones. Yeah, because normally what I would do is... Way too much bullshit, Ellie. Here's a little crown. And then if I charge you for it, you say it wasn't there, I honor that. Yeah. Um, I don't care. Just what do you... Looks like really nice glass piece here. Is this nice? Huh, I wonder if that's new or older. Because I think they do some estates here. There's like a seagull. And a walleye. They've got a lot of crystals here. Oh, you found some costume jewelry. Uh-huh, I found the bucket of the prizes. Those are stones. Yeah, they're stones. Yeah, they're stones. Hey, Allie, yeah. want to go check outside real quick? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go check outside. So they've got a lot of uh, lawn ornaments here. And they said they get some stuff from estates. And they said some of that stuff will be around back. Got a lot of fish. And then a lot of glass balls. <laughs> we sell those sometimes. Oh, look. These are some of those glass balls. These are, I believe that these are for um, floaters for like nets. So... Those are pretty cool. And look at this old wheelbarrow. It's got big metal wheels on it. Could haul some stuff in that. Oh my goodness, baby. What? You should see this. Is it the antique show? Yeah. Way better. All right. Look at this. Kind of more uh, the type of stuff we like to look at in here, huh? Oh goodness, I am in See hell. what we can find. It's like a thrift store back here. Little teacup. Allie found a vase she likes. This, this is, is Austrian. This is Sweden. Sweden? How do you know? There is a sticker there. Oh, okay. Six dollars on the Swedish vase. Let's see how that looks in my hand. Oh, looks like pretty nice glass, really. I wish it was Italian. <laughs> it's not bad, David. This is like a neat. Neat it's little goblet there. Mm-hmm. Here's like a grinder. Some old train cars. And looks like a scale. Hmm. This is like uh, maybe a display case for some jewelry. Oh, that would be nice if we could take that. <laughs> Well, it's 95 bucks. It says it works, though. Might be able to negotiate for a deal, Allie. There's old ammunition cases here. People buy those. People buy them. Here's a trunk. And it looks like an umbrella stand. Some little pottery. Hmm. Huh. 
Look at this vase, David. Which vase? Allie wants me to check out a vase. Okay, horrible condition because it does need cleaning. But it's Costa Boda. Really? Uh huh. So Marking on the bottom. It's clear, huh? Oh, mm -hmm. wait, there's somebody doing a jump rope on there. Costa Boda. Costa Boda. That is very interesting. That's a pretty good brand. I think, isn't that Swedish too, or? I think so. And look at these doorknobs. Anybody needs a doorknob? That's pretty good ones. I wonder what this one is. Oh. I don't see any signature on this no, one. Neither do I, but that's pretty interesting art glass, really. What is this, Allie? Little pig oh, figurine. Baby, look at this. It's a Kinda solar. Like brass, huh? No, it's a solar clock. Solar clock. Yeah. Did you see this one, Allie? I think it had a little break though. Oh shoot. Take care. Otherwise that one would be pretty good. Hmm. Some interesting stuff. There's seashells on the floor here. Like a Betty Boop lamp. Kind of very delicate. Ooh. Here's a horny. Mm -hmm. Here's a horny. She comes talking to me <laughs> in my earring. In your ear? Mm hmm. And then left. The hornet left. Huh. What's that pottery there? Oh, yeah. Well, it's broken. Aww. That one's broken too. That's the it is signed though. But in that condition, not sure if I can do anything with it. Alright. Oh jeez. What is this, Ellie? Oh, it's like a plastic? Yeah, some sort of. If that was glass, that'd be cool. I know. This is like a nice door knocker. style of pottery. Huh. Little peacock. Brass peacock. Yeah. Kind of cute. Well, this is Buddha Bob's. A lot of like Indian brass type of items. I think this is one of my favorite items I've seen here so far. Some brass dolphins. Got a bell to ring. Allie wants the Costa Boda. She ain't letting I that do. Thing go. No, I am not. <laughs> Definitely some interesting stuff out here. What is it, Allie? Sweden. Sweden. It's broken up too. Yeah. And there's like a little cranberry. There's some art glass down there, huh? Uh huh. What's the price on that? She. Holy cow. Talking about in breaking day. I don't think it was this one. Thirteen dollars. Not bad. Hmm. It's kind of neat. It's like a leaf. Yeah. But I just bad. wonder who made this. You know? You kind of almost need to have some kind of maker to make it valuable. <laughs> right? But it's pretty sweet. A little art glass. Try to get it back down there. Maybe the 
art involved in it and make that. I see. I think it's nice. There's a little fairy, a little fairy cup. Somebody will say, please tell me you bought the fairy cup, but. No. Nope. There's, it says pair $8, but there's only one. Oh, look at this. This one's pretty nice. Gonna look at the bottom real close. But really nice cuts and flowers on this. That's a pretty nice face. What's the price on this? There's four, oh, four dollars. Huh. It's got a lot of design on it. I'll have to think about that one. And here's a decanter, a clear decanter with a little cap. I'm always looking at the bottom. And then here's a stopper. Sometimes you need these. Because if you lose one on your decanter, you're going to need a replacement. What? Am I blocking you out? No. Oh, yeah. Little alarm clock. Did I sell one of those the other day? No, you did not. Nobody wanted it? I don't think nobody want to wake up with an alarm clock anymore. Oh. Can you see this cup, Allie? Trinidad and Tobago. Hmm. You know. It's like a pitcher. You wanna go inside? Yeah, let's go check out the inside. Did they get the green one or no? Uh, the green one, what do you mean? Oh, did you see this lady? Hold on, let me clear it up. Let's okay. check this out. I think we have something like this in our store. We sold already. Oh, you already sold it? Mm-hmm. What does that say? Oh, gold shider. Yeah. Fine china. Is it busted? No. Hold this, Ellie. Do you see any breaks on it? That's actually pretty good, huh? If it's not broken, I don't remember what we sold it for. It was blue one that we had. Should we get this? Yeah, we can. It looks pretty good. And since we already sold the one in our antique store, might as well, right? I think we did. All right. I wonder if the prices are firm or negotiable. Oh, I'm going to try to negotiate. Okay, try to negotiate. <laughs> Hmm. This little guy crawling out of this vase. Fitz and Floyd. Yeah, from France. What is that, an incense burner? For olives. Oh, uh, Allie found an olive dish. But look, this is Fitz and Floyd. It's kind of interesting. Fitz and Floyd vase. We've got a planter, a little bird planter. I don't know who made this. Looks like this hangs on the wall, though. For five bucks. Not too bad. Well, let's go check out the inside of this store, huh, Ellie? What base were you thinking of? The blue one? The green. Oh, the green one from Sweden. Not I mean, sure. it could be Orifors if it's out of Sweden, right? But usually Orifors would be marked. No, it's not marked. Mmm. Yeah. Tough decisions, but... might be a tough sell oh did you see this alley it's like a crystal knife holder crystal knife holder yeah and then oh this thing too is pretty nice but for four dollars what do you think about this it's not a bad base for four dollars yeah so bring it on i like it kind of better than that other base you got <laughs> i will show you how much i would sell this one. looks like this is from uh from a boat some galvanized buckets over there
Are your prices firm or negotiable? No, we can hook you up. We, Great. Mean, we we're here to make it south. Just hook us up on this stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Look at my soul. You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry. Okay. So here we have a variety okay. of stones. Let's check out the jewelry. Huh. We've got some nice Native American style jewelry here. We can never get enough. <laughs> I know. And looks like some uh, abalone shell there. Those stones, kind of like a light purple. And then um, probably some sterling and turquoise. A little starfish in a charm. And then. Uh, it's very iridescent. Maybe some agates there. Oh wow, that's cool. That's like an old tin type. Looks like an old tin type. <laughs> and then here you can see there's a variety of stones. So this one's really nice. I don't know a whole lot about stones, but I see them when I'm out hunting, evidently. <laughs> so, uh, this one, that looks kind of like a tiger's eye. Carved into a unicorn. And then some nice size amethysts. So, it's just a variety of different stones. And these are massive. Massive and huge. I mean, it's very, probably very rare to see an amethyst like this size. It's almost like a cave. <laughs> and there's like a brass bucket here. Some religious artwork.
Renaissance. That's pretty nice. From 1996. Found a Royal Dalton mug of Sari Gum. Ooh, 175. 175. That's an interesting base there. Wonder how much that is. Oh, $35. I can see it on the back. That thing is huge. That's probably not a bad purchase. So yeah, as you can see, there's a variety of things to look at in this store. I'm trying not to move too fast because, you know, you guys might not be too happy if I make you dizzy. It's a cool little guy. Let's investigate this. Gerald Porcelain. Twelve dollars. This little man on a horse. It's pretty cool, that's not bad for twelve bucks. See, there's even stuff tucked away in the back. What'd you find, Allie? Oh, this. Nice. New Orleans. Raw stream. It's like a candlestick. That does look pretty cool. I wish there was two of them. I like that marking, Rostry. It says Rostry, New Orleans. So probably a glass artist out of New Orleans. Some Balik is uh, nicer than others. Some um, Asian style eggs. Look at that egg, it's huge. Yeah, it's huge. This one's something like this. Before. Little Wade figurines here. Mickey Mouse. 
Hmm. Pretty cool. A lot of silverware if you, if you need any silverware. Oh, it says extra plate on those, so they have an extra layer of silver plate. Different silver plate has different amounts of silver on it, so. It's like royal. It's got that crown. And there's some caramel box back there. And this large fish. I saw that. What the heck? Look who made that. Warranted 22 carat, so there's gold in the paint, but... I mean, that's pretty shiny and nice. It's only one of them, huh? Yeah. And then there's this large stone fish. Yes, that's like carnival glass more so. Well, these look almost like onyx or alabaster bookends. It's kind of large. Allie's really looking in this corner here. Iridescent, and then there's this marble base on this uh, ruby glass centerpiece. I think this is pure. Oh. There's an Indian up here. Let me wow. see. I don't know if that's wood or not. It's pretty cool. I don't see a price tag on it. They might not want to sell it. And then here's this large piece of porcelain with the foo dogs on the side. And there's a foo dog on top. That's pretty large, pretty large urn. And then up top, you can see there's some lamps, hanging chandeliers, it's a bird cage, a little beaded purse there. Some slag glass items. As you can see there's really a lot of stuff up top. And then, let me come over here. There's a purse in like a shadow box. So those can be really cool. But yeah, a lot of stones. Oh, over here, um, there's a lot of like cabochons, you know, there's like, they're all labeled with a name. Uh, this one's particularly cool. If you ask me. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a really cool stone as well. And that says polychrome jasper. see here and a variety of items depending on if you're more into the stones I think this looks like rose quartz um, or more into the antiques and collectibles we're obviously more into the antiques but I do find this kind of stuff really cool um, a lot of features you know polished stones huh. and just very uh, smooth so Actually, feels really good to hold. Oh, these are really cool. This is like malachite, um, used in jewelry a lot. Those are really nice malachites. Those are super fun. This is a very interesting. What is that? Is that petrified wood? I think so. It's almost like petrified wood. And there's pink tourmaline over here. Uh, this has blue kyanite. Some of this stuff is just way beyond me. <laughs> uh, but I can appreciate it a little bit. That's super nice. So really a lot to see here. Like 
amethyst here. Polished stone. So pretty cool shop. Well, thanks for tagging along and watching. I think we're gonna go, gonna go buy a couple things that we saw. And um, I'll show you one last thing here. Reminds me a little bit of an oil slick. But um, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more cool shops like this. And follow us along in our journey of buying and selling antiques. Alright, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to comment if you like something in particular. Thanks.